I have a very quick but a very important announcement to make. For day two of FinSec 2024, that is tomorrow from 10.15 a.m., we have two very important uh, workshops planned and curated for you all. So both the workshops are hands-on workshop, ladies and gentlemen, so we would encourage and urge you all to please bring your laptops for a better experience. I would again repeat one more time, I would request you all to please get your laptops uh, to get a better experience of these workshops. The first workshop is by Sentinel-1 and uh, you will be getting uh, three CPE credits if you're a part of this workshop. And the second workshop will be by Checkpoint where you get a chance to win PS5 and Amazon Echo. So do not miss this opportunity of attending these very important and crucial workshops because these are very limited seats available. So I'm sure that you will be a part of these workshops. That being said, it's now time we move to a very special segment curated for you all. And I would request once again to all our members of the audience to please uh, stay glued to your seats as it is time for a very special program launch. It is about promoting women in security which is supported by Kindrel Foundation. And to do the honors, I may I please invite on stage Mr. Harish Soni, Director of Practice, General Management Kindrel, and Mr. Vinayak Godse, Chief Executive Officer, DSCI on stage to please launch the program. A warm welcome to both our dignitaries on stage. Can we please bring in the energy and give a round of applause to both our dignitaries? And I now request our team members to kindly hand over the program play cards to get them on stage, please. important uh, launch of the program of women in security supported by Kindrel Foundation. A very important and a momentous occasion. Can we give a big hand? Can we have a quick photograph, please? Thank you, thank you so much. And I now request uh, Mr. Harish to please take over and have a walk through to the audience about Cyber Vahini. Thank you. I mean, it's a it's a great event where we all go and you know and in some security events and always talk about corporates or enterprise how they can learn how they can benefit. But it's very few moments where you know we come across and join hands to work towards the community. And I think that's where I thank DSCI and. Will. You know, like on what they are doing in this as a larger platform. And we as Kindle Foundation are glad to participate in this. Not just last week we launched the Cyber Scenic, you know, and we have worked with certain such non living non profit organizations across US, Czech Republic, Poland, and now in India, where we are working towards such programs to help and give back to the community. And I think that's a very key thing for us. And as we look at the rising global risk, right, where emerging, emerging technologies are one of the key threats. And in those emerging technologies, cyber technology is one of them, apart from AI and few others. So this is a space where we have to go back and give to the community and make them strong. So I think this is going to be an amazing program where we're going to work with the larger women community and help them emerge out of it, see them, how we help them towards, give them the resources, give them the resources and the opportunities to thrive in this industry. So I think very thankful, thankful to the Vinayak and the DSCI team to participate in this program, and thank you. Vinayak, over to you. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Harish. May I also please invite Mr. Vinayak on stage to join us and share a few words about this program launch. Uh, 
this is really a kind of a moment where uh, DSA feel privileged to work in. Um, uh, we had been working on this area, some of you know that program that we have. Uh, we try to address two or three different uh, diverse issues together. We go to small cities, we train movement, and then we try to get them into the uh, workforce. And this, this is a regional plus women plus uh, primary income as well. Right? And, uh, but as we all know, ki cyber security as an area still have very less participation of women in cyber security workforce. So uh, some years back when we actually started seeing industry how the, it is evolving and started mobilizing the effort for improving women participation in cyber security, it was just 11%. But the last seven years of time things have changed a lot, but still uh, not to the extent that we like to. So overall in IT industry, uh, workforce participation is almost 35% and cyber security is still 20 to 23% basically. A lot needs to be done and uh, uh, we, this particular program is actually uh, training a woman in a, in a cyber security uh, skill areas, different skill areas and we have done uh, generic skill plus specific to BFSI, specific to AI and a lot of the effort has been put together. But not only training with with the help of the ecosystem partner, but also get them to the workforce basically, right? And uh, thanks to those recruiters, so 80 to 90 plus recruiters, which have been recruiting for this uh, thing, and uh, cyber one is just extension, significantly scale up of that program that we'll be putting together. And for such kind of program where we are targeting those women and girls basically, getting them to the workforce needs support. And um, as I was uh, there last week as well in in Bangalore, so we launched the cyber training program. Some of you must have read that news, largely focusing on the uh, uh, students from the grade 6 to grade 12 to train them on cyber security issues and problems so they become a cyber signing not only for protecting their digital cyber space but also protecting their families as well because students could be a vehicle for protecting uh, a family in the cyber space so there's a large awareness education program but this program is very intense program to train uh, girls in cyber security and get them to work post and for such program and both of this program we are really thankful to the Kendall foundation team to help us uh, uh, expanding and scaling up this program and a lot of such effort is required and this logo also is very beautifully captured by the ESA team thanks to Amit and team to really come up with this logo but we would like to have participation and support from the entire cyber security community because this program without the support and uh, effort will not be reaching to the uh, goal that we are looking at. So we definitely want to reach from 20 to 20 percent to at least 30 percent to start, but reaching to the level of the IT industry of 35 percent plus, uh, actually it should be 50 percent plus, uh, 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 but uh, gradually we'll move towards that goal basically. So thank you once again Girisha and then the uh, uh, entire um, uh, Kendall Foundation team. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, sir, for sharing your vision with us. May I please, uh, I would like to request Mr. Harish to please join us back on stage for a minute. As it's time, we appreciate your presence at this conclave with a token of appreciation.